Want to see something cool? This is a Tesla coil. It's a high voltage radio frequency resonant rise air core transformer system capable of generating electrical discharges through a free space longer than my arm. It's ungodly dangerous and there's 20 ways to kill you the moment you don't respect it. And I'm gonna teach you step by step all about how to build them. I built this and so can you. This is just a little one, but it's a start. We'll get into the big ones once I have a real workshop. It runs off this little itty bitty inline transformer, kind of like your laptop, which is fed from this power supply, which is fed from the wall. Normal people install shit like this in their garage to charge your car. The only thing my car gets charged with is disturbing the peace. I'm building a little power supply from parts I've scrounged, and I happen to have this sexy ass multi-tap variable inductor that came from an old x-ray rig. Thing is, I don't know anything about this inductor. It's got more leads than a frat bro with a Series 7, and since it's my only one, I can't afford to let the smoke out. But a problem shared is a problem halved, and I have every faith that one of you knows way more about this than I do, especially if you're an x-ray tech. My goal is to put this in series with the output and be able to limit the current down from 30 amps. Maybe 50 if she'll take it without saturation, but the wires say she'll do 30 all day long and I only need a super light duty cycle, so we're fine. I want to do it in steps, just like she was originally meant for, and that'll give me a nice workshop power supply for testing. Click the switch, pick a tap, and if we do it right, we can limit the current in steps to be able to safely run all kinds of fun things at various amperages. So please, hit me up in the comments if you've got the mojo to flex on this. You teach me some things, I'll teach all of you some things, and together we make some lightning, and that's pretty cool.